I lived in uh, Minneapolis for a long time. Uh, I went to school out there. One day, me and my roommate decided we were going to start homebrewing, and we got into it. And uh, it was just a big hobby for us. That's really how. That's really all it was for a long time. A uh, big hobby, uh, more of an obsession. It was like a little bit dangerous. I mean, uh, yeah, we were. So. We were I mean, it was you know, it wasn't that he came home and said, "Oh, this is what we're doing," and I really like it. It was like the kid's a fanatic. It was just beer all the time. Starting a brewery wasn't really in plans, you know, but to be able to do, you know, to brew, make beer, the beer we want to brew at home here in Door County, where the beer culture here was next to nothing, so to be able to kind of really push that here was just, it was a great, great chance for us. When we started the company, we knew that the Door County name had a really good name, right? We could have chosen any name of our brewery. But we chose Door County because we knew that that would attract people and that would at least be one marketing effort that would get people to pay attention to our product. But the most important part of that product is the taste. Unless people are going to try it over and over, then it's really just a waste of time. So we take pride in both the name and in the product and what's inside of it. Like anything, any industry, there's a lot of trends. And you know, big, super powerful hoppy IPAs are, are in, but I have my style and I know what I want to make. We're trying to do, you know, a lot of Belgian-inspired sour beers, and I'd say the number one reason we're doing that is just because that's what we like to drink. That's our favorite. We have a seven-barrel system in the basement where we brew a lot of kind of experimental, one-off beers, um, and then uh, we've got a room dedicated just to barrel-aging beers. So we're going to do a lot of beers aged in wine barrels with uh, different kind of bacteria, wild yeast, and stuff. So do a lot of kind of sour, funky beers, a lot of things like that. The boiling, mashing process, it's very similar for all beers, but with the sour beers, the fermentation, it's a lot different, it's a lot more hands-on. Um, we, we use a lot of different yeasts um, with different bacteria, and then barrel aging. Um, a lot of stuff we age in, you know, red wine, white wine barrels, uh, and it just adds a whole new dimension. Most of the products that we buy, uh, most of the ingredients, as many of the in ingredients as we can, we buy local. We, we search Door County first, and then we search as close to Door County as we can, and then we search the state of Wisconsin. And that's and so we try to do as much Wisconsin-based, local Door County-based as possible on all of our products. We've got a couple small farmers up here working with us, um, just growing as much as they can. Uh, but the amount of hops we use, even on the small system downstairs, is just unbelievable. Um, so I mean, we take whatever we can get from anybody up here. We gladly use all the hops, but you know, like I said, it's just an insane amount how much we use in one batch. So it would take a lot of a lot of really devoted guys around here to where we could do it all local. And we're shooting for it, though. Yeah, I mean that's, that's something we're really trying to get get to work. We all have our place, and Ben's really good at recognizing what our places are. You know, Angie's had a retail experience, so she runs the retail. Danny's the brewer, he runs the brewery. Ben's got the service personality and the music background, so he's managing the bar and the music and, and the front of house, so it all fits well. And then my background is all business and sales. I think it's, it's really cool for us, you know, to do what we like to do in regards to making beer and then see other people, you know, just get excited about it. It's kind of strange. You know, we're not, still not quite used to it, uh, you know, people, you know, getting all excited about something that we're doing. Um, and then, you know, to be able to do it in Bailey's Harbor, it's a really nice little town. Um, you know, it's quiet, but, you know, there's a lot of neat things going on now, a lot of new things popping up. And, you know, Bailey's Harbor is, you know, they've been super generous and super happy, really easy to work with. They're, you know, they're excited to have us and we're excited to be in Bailey's Harbor. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Because we realized this could be our livelihood and what we could bring to Bailey's Harbor, which is a lovely town to be in, by the way, and um, maybe what we could provide uh, with the county as far as employment and some year-round work, we just realized it was a great idea. So we just invested everything we could into it. You know, we want to do something that's unique and, and why build a brewery and why build a brand if all you can do is the same thing everybody else is doing. We're trying to brew beers that, you know, aren't done a whole lot in Wisconsin. I mean, they're done, but maybe not, you know, focused on as much as they are at other places. So we're really trying to do things a little bit differently. I 
think facial hair has always been a fascination of everybody in the yeah. McMahon family. Our dad has always, always had something going on. Yep. I had a neck beard for a while. That was also gross. Now we've been taking our time doing it right. We've got we've got the right combs, got the right wax, we've got the right oils, you know, really doing it right.